Hi, so we're here right now in the show in Teora, Nueva Ecija, located in Santa Rosa, Nueva Ecija. Let's go ahead and enter their showroom and let's look what models they have in their showroom here in Teora, Santa Rosa, Nueva Ecija. Start with this car. This is the Toyota Hi Ace Commuter Deluxe Manual Transmission. It cost 1.6 million. And wow, amazing! It's a six speed manual. Uh, maximum output 176 horsepower and 20 direct injection common rail system. And let's look at the inside. This is the Toyota Hi-Ace commuter. Then the obnya. So main step ladder. And spacious taman pala siya. Manawag din. And yan ang kanyang ano. So it's a it's a six it's a six speed manual transmission vehicle. There you go. And uh, if you notice, the back is pretty spacious. Luwag, no? Luwag na loob. Nang, ano? Naka, ano na siya? All power. And it's ready using... So, single airbag lang siya. Driver lang po yung naka-airbag. There we go. Pwede yung likod niya. So, yung parang gitna pala niya na upuan. It's a lumalabas. One, two... Three, four. It's a four-seater. Ito naman. It's another four-seater. May daanan lang sa gitna. So, very manuwag siya. So, very nice car. Especially for big family. Ang Toyota High Ace Commuter. Back part of the Toyota High Ace Commuter. So, yan. Pag nakaretrack, maluwag. So, meron siyang pwede paglagyan, mga groceries, mga bags, ganyan. Pero, pag nakakabit yung upuan niya, or rather, naka, nakakain yung upuan niya, maliit lang yung storage space niya. There. At, uh, ayan. So, huwag ka mag-alala, hindi ka hirap kung ano. Meron naman siyang tali rito. And, uh, there you go. The old new high ice. And it's amazing. It's already using, it also has a rear wiper. Naka rear wiper na rin po siya. There you go. Let's look at the new Toyota Fortuner. This is the code price for a Fortuner 4x2 diesel automatic transmission. It cost 1.9 million. Amazing. Rating na natin yung now let's look at inside of the the new Toyota Fortuner. So meron siyang fingerprint, and you can also use the key to open it. It's already using power windows and power side mirrors with door lock. It comes with a sleek leather design, guys. It's a nice leather finish of this Toyota Fortuner, this 4x2 diesel automatic transmission. And uh, look at their steering wheel, there's already like audio control and uh, some mode and you can also answer the telephone call to make it hands-free. Just connect your cell phone through Bluetooth. It's already using a 2 din control and it has an automatic climate control. And the, the good thing is also a cup holder here. Good for two cups for your your for your coffee or your water. And uh, on this side, it's an automatic transmission. This is what I like about the, the new Toyota Fortuner model. They have different modes. You see this? Echo mode, normal mode, 
sports mode and and uh, for traction control that's nice and this is their glove compartment glove box rather there spacious so therefore what's this uh, okay it's ready so this is the steering assist uh, steering assist rather the steering wheel sorry for that and that has an airbag and here I'm not sure if this is also an airbag yeah, it's also using an airbag already. So that's good. And here above, uh, you can put your sunglasses and some lights, interior lights. There you go, guys. Let's look at the middle part of this Toyota Fortuner. The Toyota Fortuner, there's already, you don't need to buy anymore a step ladder. It's already equipped with a step ladder. Once you buy it here from Casa or from Toyota. There we go. So stay tuned. Look at the mid part of the Toyota Fortuner. So meron siyang, una may kita mo dito, meron siyang sa armrest ng driver. Anong lagaya ng cell phone or anything, note, notepad or anything. There's also 12 volts, 120 watts, para gusto kong gusto mo mag-charge. And uh, we also have this interior lights, interior cabin, li cabin lights. And uh, the passenger can also, because it's using the back kanina, katulad na sabi ko sa'yo kanina, there's already an automatic climate control, alright? And uh, so the, the passenger here at the back side can also control your temperature if it, they can also go in automatic mode and turn off the AC if they're feeling cold the aircon vents are like this one there you go it's above you there you go guys this is the middle part of the Toyota Fortuner yes it's also it also has power window controls the back part of the Toyota Fortuner Yes, it's automatic. It goes up on its own. Alright, and this is the back part of the Toyota Fortuner. There you go. A little bit spacious compared to the high ace earlier. Even though the the chair, the back chair, the rear chair is in kind. See, there's still there's still enough storage. And if you retract it or fill it up, the chair, here I go. Amazing, guys. By the way, if you notice, sorry, I wasn't able to turn on the video earlier. There. It's automatic. You just guide it and it will automatically close on its own. Very convenient. All you have to do is just press this. That back, that back part. All right? And the back of the Oda Fortuner is also, also already has a rear wiper. Here I go, guys. This is the Toyota, the new Toyota Fortuner. Look at right now the new Toyota Innova E variant, diesel automatic transmission, and it costs 1.3 million. Let's, so stay tuned. Let's look at the new Toyota Innova. Huh? The only difference with the is the looks. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung likod. It's a new design ng Toyota Innova. At ang kagandahan dito, meron na siyang rear brake, rear spoiler or brake lights. At uh, naka-rear naka wiper na rin siya. Ito yung Toyota Innova. I used to drive this, but it's a 2010 model. <laughs> This one is the 2021. And look at this. You have a promo. You know, for diesel, manual, by fits manual transmission, 70,000 down payment only with free PMS and free insurance. Amazing, guys. It's only here in the Ode, Santa Rosa, and I see you. So let's look at the inside of 
the new Toyota Innova. Here of that new Toyota Innova. Here we go. It's the inside of the Toyota Innova. And uh, yes, it's an automatic transmission. Okay, once you enter here, it's an automatic transmission variant with a cup holder and an armrest to make the driver much more relaxing while they drive. And it's not using a climate control. It's just, it's, uh, it's the only cons. Still using knobs. Old school style. <laughs> Two din. At maganda naman yung ano niya, dashboard. This is the glove box. And uh, one amazing night. You have the fogger and um, an echo mode and a power mode. Traction control. And there's lagayan dito. Anything like papers or anything that you like to put your cell phone or anything. And this one, we can put your coins maybe. Oh yeah, there you go. There's also an outlet there, sorry. Or you can put your charger of your cell phone. It's an automatic transmission. One cup holder. And of course, brake. And here we go. And this is the steering wheel. The steering wheel already has a audio control. You can also put a different mode to be hands-free. You can where you can be able to answer your telephone while you're driving and change display of the screen. So there we go. This is where the clock is. And uh, hazard light. And above is your cabin lights. And we could put your sunglasses. We have near this vanity mirror for the passenger. Oh wow, maybe this is a vanity mirror for the driver. Amazing. Okay. There we go. And uh, yeah, it's also by the way using power windows, power side mirrors. Let's look at the middle cabin. Cabin of the Toyota Innova. There, in the mid cabin. Here. And on the back of the armrest, we could put be able, able to put your phone or any paper if you like. And there's also a charger a ch where you can put your charger. A 12 volts, 120 watts. And here, there's also aircon control. You are the aircon vents. And yes, of course, the dry. The passenger also has a power window controls. And it has a nice fabric design. It's a nice it's not leather. It's not yet it's not yet leather seat. One good thing here is also in the at the back of the of the passenger right front passenger. You can put some of your envelopes and there's also something here that can carry up to four kilograms a hook amazing there we go same goes at the back of the driver's driver's seat put, there's also that hook pwede mong lagay yung your grocery items or anything and here on the side by the way, the power window control, and there's also some space where you could put your water bottle or anything else. Like that. There we go. Now let's look at the back part of the Toyota Innova. Okay, guys.
We're here once again in the back part of the Teora Innova. Ah, so, hindi, hindi po siya yung katulad ng Fortuner. This is manual. I was, I was thinking it was like an automatic that it will go up on its own. But it's not. Okay, so ito yung likod ng Toyota Innova. Medyo maluwag siya pag naka-fold ang dalawang upuan sa likod. And uh, it is... I'm not sure with the letters, okay? And uh, yes, when you, when you buy a new... Any car here in Toyota, it has a new floor mat. There you go. This is the back part of the Toyota Innova. Sorry about earlier, I was waiting for it to go up. This is the the nudge where you need to eh yung kailangan mo ngayon pinadala para makyat. Pero hindi siya yung katulad ng yung Toyota Fortuner kanina na pipindutin mo lang aakyat na siya mag-isa. This one is not. This is by the way the e-variant and it's 2.8 version of the new Toyota Innova. Now the with the very famous Toyota Vios. So they have two models here. This is the the new Vios XE automatic transmission, and it only costs seven hundred fifty three thousand. The new Vios one point three XE automatic transmission. At ito naman yung the new Vios XLE. Tama po ba? Yes, tama. This is the new all the all new Vios XLE. 1.3 automatic transmission, it's 851,000. For me, how did I notice the difference upon looking at it? Kahit hindi ko pa nababasa yan kanina. The only difference that I noticed here with XE versus XLE. Ang XLE, if you notice, it is already using, how many inches is this? It's already using R15 mugs or, or rim 15 naka design na compared to the to the X, XE naka hub ka pa po siya oh. this is what I mean and it's using an R14 so hub cup regular black and uh, so therefore there you go the only difference between XE on your look lang ha sa unang tingin pa lang hindi nakamags XLE nakamags naka rim 15 si XLE si XE naka rim 14 yan lang para mas madali na ano dahil maraming kumukuha ng XLE tara tingnan natin ang loob ng XLE so now let's go inside the new Toyota Vios XLE ang ganda na loob niya no regular fab fabric design hindi pa po siya naka leather bale there Regular fabric design, and this is the con. Yan kung sa may adjust. Wala siyang adjustment, guys. Dito sa Philippines, sa mapan siya ng most cars. Wala siyang height adjustment, but it's it's okay. And of course, it's using power window control and a regular bottle holder on the. Ito yung loob. Yes, it's an automatic transmission. There we go. An auto automatic transmission variant. And uh, by the way, there in the Vios, may two cup holders. Puyan. So may taas ng transmission gear. Handbrake. And a charger of a 12 volts, 120 watts. And a regular armrest. Moving up on it. Hindi pa po siya nakaklimate control. Yan ang, for me, cons or downside. But it's okay. All you need to do is just the knob. There you go. You start the air convents. Naka-2 din na po ang, ano, ang XLE. So there you go. This is the speedometer. And the steering wheel. The steering wheel, it has an audio control different mode and to answer your telephone call to make it hands-free and to make it much to be, to be safe 
Since it's an automatic transmission, of course, it's using only gas pedal and a brake pedal. To look at the to look at the engine, you just have to put it, pull the knob up. And this is the glove box of the Toyota Vios. There you go. Let's look at the side of the engine. The Toyota Vios. Kung yung manawag rin naman, may okay lang din naman ang legroom and headroom niya. At same seat, it's a regular fabric design. Hindi po siya naka-leather seat. Kagandahan ng dito, meron siyang ano, ano, headrest. Doon sa third, sa gitna, impasin niya sa gitna. Yeah. So medyo manawag din naman po siya. I'm only standing 5 feet, 7 inches tall. So may legroom naman ng konta. Uh, ayan. Of course, ang passenger naka may power window control. Meron din siyang lagay ng bottle holder at at kung ano man mga pwede niya ilagay po dyan. So there you go. This is the new Toyota Vios XLE. Side the Toyota Rush. Yes, it's VVTi dual VVTi variable valve time induction. Sa pagpasok, yeah, because it's keyless, like my, like yung Toyota Rush dito. And, alright, so ito yung loob. Ganda na loob, no, guys? Power window controls, power side mirrors, and there's a cup holder, and things you can put there. The inside, it's, yes, it's also using a, a sleek fabric design of the new Toyota Rush. Here you go, guys. And um, there you go. So, this is the inside. The yung steering wheel po niya. Yes, the steering wheel already has an audio control. And hands free, you could also already answer a telephone call there once you connect it to the to DIN. Ito yung kanyang dashboard. Aircon vent. One of the cons, should I say, for me, very primitive thing nan kasi yung style ng aircon vents niya. But anyway, it's okay, it's up to. That's just that's just my comment. Yes, it already has a traction control. And uh, since this is keyless entry, this is a G variant, so it's a push start. My push start button na pusha. This is the aircon vent. Hindi na dapat, hindi na dapat ang aircon vent. Hindi ka talaga yung ganun. <laughs> But anyway, it's okay. It's the hazard light. It's already using a 2DIN from Toyota. Automatic climate control. And um, there you go. At the 12 volts, 120 watts. You could put your cell phone charger there if you'd like to. Here's it. And of course. Like again, storage, the gear, automatic transmission, and this is. Wala po siyang armrest dito. Ang mga tao na armrest to. Dito ang okay. Kyo handbrake sa may tatlong cup holder siya. And this one, this is the glove box. Yes, and it's already also equipped with a airbag. For safety purposes, this is one one advantage of one advantage of the Toyota Rush. It has already an, an an SRS airbag for the driver, for the passenger, and also here. May taka airbag na puyan. If you notice, there you go. You notice that this is already fully equipped with airbag for safety purposes. That's the Toyota Rush. Like, so at the middle, get na ng Toyota Rush. These are the uh, aircon vents and uh, aircon control. And a design. And yes, it's still using a regular fabric seat here. It's covered with, uh, it's still brand new as you notice. That's the power window control, but the only code. 
and there's a cup you notice that you can put there this one see power window controls you can put your your bottle here and um, the what do you call this again the papers envelopes or bottle holder another bottle holder cons for me in this once again primitive design of the air convents and the aircon control so primitive and this is the the cabin cabin light a bit primitive too ayan yan yung likod po niya okay now let's look at the back of the Toyota Rush now on Toyota Rush G yes it's already equipped with okay, here's spoiler na siya and third brake light rear brake light rear wiper clean the quad may just spacious up on the quad if you notice yung rubber mats na, eh, floor mats water nakasama but just spacious po yung kanyang likod ng kanyang Toyota Rush there you go at spacious din ang kanyang mga leg rooms ng Toyota Rush now let's look at the new Toyota Hilux this is the all new Hilux Contest 4x4 diesel manual transmission and it costs 1.7 million. But look at the horsepower guys, amazing. It's using a 204 horsepower and a 4 cylinder inline dock. Wow, dock na siya guys. Take note. It's really dual overhead comp, amazing. And these are some accessories for the new all Hilux Contest. This is the PRD package. Let's look at let's look at the inside. Amazing. The new Toyota Hilux. Look how slick the design is. Very spacious. This is the Hilux Contest. <laughs> Just kidding aside. It's the Toyota Hilux. Very spacious ang kanyang ka ang likod, guys. Ito yung one of my dream car, to be honest with you guys. Eh, no? Yeah, I need to work hard. need to fly back abroad. <laughs> I really like the design of the Hilux. This is now let's look at the inside of the new Toyota Hilux. Let's look at the inside of the new Toyota Hilux Conquest. Pag bili niya pala, meron na siyang step ladder, ha, guys. So you don't need to buy that accessory upon purchasing your new Hilux. Looking from the door, start from the door. Okay, yes, of course, it's using a power side mirrors. Power side mirrors, power windows. And there's a bottle holder here. You can put your, some of your documents there. And here, it's, it's a nice fabric design. It's not leather seat yet, but it's... Ang ganda ng pagka-design ng kanyang upuan, guys. Let's look at the inside of it. Now, this is the... So, this is the power steering. So, yes, it's power steering. It's the steering wheel, should I say. <laughs> it is already audio control mode. And the hands-free, if you would like to answer a telephone call. Skip the music or the video you're watching or return or anything like this. It's already equipped with SRS or airbag. And this is the, the odometer, the dashboard. Steve, guys. And this is the air convents. Air convents, the hazard light. The... the clock the watch the 2d in and of course since this is a uh, top of the line it's already push start button using a climate control for the AC 
and uh, here's a charger 12 volts 120 watts charger what's this 4x4 four four, if I'm not mistaken is this 4x4 four four assist and DAC what is a DAC please comment down below help me out here please guys <laughs> and this one IMT and this one what's this okay another 12 volts 120 watts outlet and it's just a storage space and this is not an automatic transmission much better <laughs> and it is a, a six speed manual transmission amazing guys and it has two mode you have the echo mode and the power mode handbrake a cup holder and where you could put some stuff that you need to put here an armrest with a nice slick design of the chair yes it's already also equipped with passenger airbag this is the glove box oh, sorry there also a side, side speaker if you know it's there guys and um, of course, it's the vanity, vanity mirror for the passenger. Sorry about it. I'm not sure if, if the passenger has that. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't have a, a vanity mirror. And this is the interior light, interior cabin light for the driver and the, and the front passenger. You can put your sunglasses. This one is also the, what do you call this? Interior cabin light. It's the front of the new Hilux. Seriously guys, this is one of my dream cars. <laughs> Hoping that I can have one soon. Need to work abroad and uh, yeah, after my return I'll be getting, maybe from that time I'll be getting that new 2023. <laughs> I'll be back here in the Philippines in 2023 yet, so yeah, maybe in God's will. Stage. Let's look at right now the middle part of the the new Hilux. Yes, yeah, so on the back part. Yes, of course the, the passenger can also you know power window control, bottle holder, document holders, nice fabric design. And if you'd like to, you know, put ladder seat, it's only 7,072 pesos here in Toyota. And of course, since it's a pickup truck, it's a glass there. And uh, there's a hook where you could be able to put some of your, do your... don't tell me your grocery, come on guys. <laughs> you can take this ready a pickup. So, I don't know, it's up to you what you want to put there. Nice, it's like the sign and... Um, Okay, there is, you know, an armrest if there's only two of you sitting on the back. Two cup holders too. There we go. If someone's sitting on the middle, it's good he has also an armrest. Bihira kasi ngayon yung mga sakin ganyan may armrest. Yung middle passenger. And of course, a handle for you to, when you go inside. There we go. And of course, once again, this is uh, the new Toyota Hilux Contrast. And if you look at the back, yes, man, I'm telling you, it's very spacious. Amazing. There you go. Stay tuned. We're waiting for this. Let's talk about now the new Toyota Wego 1.0 G automatic transmission. Wow. Look at that. TRD variant ang kanilang display. <laughs> So it costs the TRD variant at automatic transmission G. Uh, it's 700,000. Inline cylinder, 12 valves. Wow, it's already docked. Seriously, man, it's already do it's already using dock dual overhead cam. Will you believe this? Amazing. Yeah, because maybe it's because of that it's the TRD variant, yeah, sha dual overhead cam. It's only 700,000. Yeah, of course, it's already EFI. Let's talk about this. The Toyota Wego G Automatic Transmission TRD Variant.
Sure, no problem. Here I go, guys. If you notice, the TRD variant naka wrap around skirt design na po siya. Side skirt of the TRD variant. It's already using rim. Let me check on this. This is rim 14. It's using 175, 65 rim 14 tires. So this looks of the Wego TRD variant. What is spoiler? We are spoiling it. TRD man, Toyota Racing Development. If you're wondering what is TRD, what is Astig na ano niya, taillight, guys. Wow, amazing. Amazing ng taillights din niya, oh. So, the TRD variant for Toyota Wego. Here's the side once again, yes. TRD. Amazing. Yeah, sorry about it guys if I was if I was oh sorry sorry about it guys if I was amazed <laughs> because it's amazing look at that it's a one point it's already a regular it's a 1.0 G automatic and it's a TRD variant because I can notice it's already dock this one is sock wow on a 1.0 engine pero dual overhead comes Wow, amazing, amazing guys. Let's look at the inside of this Toyota Wego TRD variant. By the way, I noticed, you notice there, it's a TRD sticker, TRD S. Maybe the S means sports mode, correct me if I'm wrong guys, comment down below. Let's look at the inside. So when you enter, okay, once again, power window controls, and a cup holder and some documents that you'd like to put. And this is, wow, amazing. Look at the. It's nice. Regular fabric design. Wow, parang yung. Parang yung seat niya kakaiba, no? <laughs> parang naka. Parang malap. Akala ko ba. Akala ko kanina, sorry guys. Parang naka bucket seat. Hindi pala. <laughs> so, regular fabric design. Okay. And uh, let's look at. Here. Oh, wait. Okay, the steering wheel ready as ready as audio control. Can change the mode. Okay, and this is the dashboard. Don't matter readings there go. And this is yeah because it's G variant, so therefore it's keyless entry, push start button, and side uh, power side mirrors for the left and the right side mirrors. Air vents once again. My comment only. It's a bit. It's a bit primitive, should I say? It's up to you how you like it. Okay, there you go. Air vents. Right, using the Toyota Tudin display. Hazard light, and of course, an automatic climate control for the for the air for the AC. And here there, we can put some storage and another 12 volts, 120 watts outlet. Two cup holders. A stig na akala, eh, sorry, kala ko carbon fiber. <laughs> uh, this is the gear. Park reverse neutral drive. 3 2. Handbrake. And one cup holder. Passenger also has its own window power window control, storage, and a cup holder there. Passenger also one of the safety feature good safety feature is the you know SRS airbag, also for the passenger, not only for the driver's side. So right now, pretty basic na kasi yung driver side may may ano SRS airbag, but passenger that's not basic. That's good. That's cool. Like you got an airbag for the passenger. Anyway, guys, this is the glove box of the Toyota Wego. There you go, guys. This is the the 
Do you order we go? Let's look at the back. Maluwag. Maluwag yung loob niya, guys. Amazing. Pwede. Ayan, naka yes, power mirrors. Power, power, power window. I keep, saying, why I keep on saying wind mirrors. It's a window. <laughs> Sorry about it. Power windows. Bottle holder. And uh, document holder. Dito ako na-amaze, guys. Eh, sa totoo lang. Astig ng ano niya, oh, taillight taillight ng ano niya. Ganda ng forma, no? Yan natin likod, guys. To op it already has for brake light, rear wiper, the auto logo, of course. We go with a TRD logo. What is S? Comment down below, please, or that means sports mode. Ah, so pa na siya, man. So, siguro nandun yung likod, may, may control siya sa likod. Anyway, that, ito yung tsura ng likod niya. Spacious naman likod na nga eh. If you can see that, guys. Okay. There we go. That's the Toyota Wego TRD design. Guys, new on the market. What's this? What's this? Is your guess right? Yes, it's the new Toyota Corolla Cross. What? Yes, it is. The new Toyota Corolla Cross Hybrid. The new Cor Toyota Corolla Cross is a 1.8 V CVT Hybrid. It costs 1.6 million using, wow, an amazing dock engine. Or, when I say dock, it's not a doctor, okay? <laughs> it's a dual overhead comm engine. Amazing, guys. And uh, look at the maximum output. Engine displacement is a 1.7. Let's look at it, and it's an EFI, because it's a hybrid, that's why it's EFI plus electric motor. Let's take a look at it. It's the new Toyota Corolla. As we know, Corolla is a car, a sedan, but this one is, a, I think it's a compact AUV. Let's take a look at it. This is the new Toyota Corolla Cross. I thought earlier it's a RAV4, but it's not. It's the new Corolla. To Toyota Corolla Cross. And it's, yes, it's hybrid. Amazing, guys. Wow, the new Toyota Corolla Cross. I thought I really thought this is a Rob for earlier while uh, looking at a far tayo kanina. Akala ko Rob for ito, but it's not Corolla Cross pala siya. So guys, let's look at the inside of this new Toyota Corolla Cross. Stay tuned. Well, oh my. Eye. <laughs> but anyway, let's look at you can see it. It's using a clear tint anyway. So there you go. Uh, the the seats are leather, it's leather upholstery, and look at that, guys. It's not that clear. This including display, uh, an automatic transmission, and their Toyota logo dashboard, and uh, it's pretty cool. Sorry, we're cannot we cannot be able because the keys are there with the marketing and uh, they have to go upstairs or so somewhere but you can view this in Toyota Santa Rosa Nueva Ecija look at it guys okay or maybe when we come back we can already open this car stay tuned this one of the most popular in the market ang van ng Toyota it's not NV350 oh magkabuka sila this is the Toyota high ace commuter ito siya Mukha siyang NV350, sabi ng iba. <laughs> yeah, but magkamukha talaga sila. Yung Toyota Highest Commuter 3.0 manual transmission. It's 1.3 million pesos with 136 horsepower. Not bad. Ito po siya. Ayan, ang tsura. Now, let's look at the inside. Ayan o. 
regular handle lang po siya. At regular variant, kaya hindi siya power window. Naka, tawag ng iba, powis window. <laughs> so, ayan. At since this is a manual transmission vehicle, and of course, three pedals, dahil may, ga may gasoline pedal, brake pedal, clutch pedal. And uh, the seats are regular seats. Regular texture. At, ito na, ito na kakit tayo. May stop ladder naman sa pag-akit at hawak po tayo dito. Para dito yung mahulog. Alright. So, ito ang kanyang dashboard. Ayan. Very nice. Clean design. Regular steering wheel. But the steering wheel already has an SRS airbag. Good job, Toyota. For safety. Ayan ang kanyang aircon vent. At nagaya ng bariya, coins, ang toll gate. Ay, hindi. Ay, oh, may cash lane pa pala. Pero mag-RFID na kayo, haba ng pino. <laughs> At, naka-regular radio lang po siya. Hazard switch. And it's a 5-speed manual transmission. Ang kanyang aircon, controls, regular knobs, thermostats, ano to, on fog lamp ba ito? Guys, pa-comment na na, ano to, bakit may ganitong light? Rear, para sa rear, rear vents ng AC. Nagaya ng coins with it. 12 volts, 120 watts. Nagaya ng documents. One amazing about this, kahit na regular feature lang ito ng high ace. Safety purposes guys, naka SRS airbag na, Astig Toyota, good job. So yan siya guys, so yan yung, so, pati sa passenger, pa, yung regular window lang na inikot. May tawag niya yung papawis window, toinks. <laughs> Ayan guys, yan ang kanyang internal cabin light. Ayan. Ayan. Walang vanity mirror. Mga nagpapaganda dyan, sorry. Dala kayo na ninyo, mirror nyo. Pati sa driver, wala, walang vanity mirror. There you go, guys. Uh, Tara na natin yung gitna. Stay tuned, guys. Sa gitna naman, sa passenger area. Passenger bay. Ito, yung sa front. Passenger. Yes, may, store, may step ladder naman. Para hindi ka may rapa ng kaya. Ito naman sa gitna. Open natin guys. Tingnan natin. Luwag, di ba? Ayan. At ayan ang kanyang mga passenger seats. At ayan ang kanyang air controls. Manual control air controls. So, there we go guys. This is the new Toyota Hiace commuter. What is under us? have I see here. They have some packaging. The 15,000 Prime Kit for the Toyota Vios. It's 15,000 pesos. It's already free painting and installation. It used to be original price of 80,000 pesos. Uh, dito sa Toyota Center Rosa Nueva Ecija, it's only 15,000 pesos. Nakinan tipid nyo dyan. And there are some, a lot of accessories in here that you'll be needing for your cars upon purchasing it. These are just accessories, okay? Iba pa po yung mga parts. Here. And back there, they have... Here in Toyota Santa Rosa, Nueva Ecija, they also have the TRD Racing Development parts. This is for grill for the... Yeah, the Hilux contest. This one. And uh, this is the front grill for... What car is this? Front? It's not indicated. I'm not sure what front grille is this for. And this is the front grille for the Toyota Hilux. And uh, front grille cover. Oh, it's good Hilux to the hat. Sorry guys. This is the fog lump cover. And this is the skid plate. 
Ayan, meron din silang Mad Guard for Hilux once again. Ayan, mga TRD. They also have TRD stickers. Rims, alloy wheel. And uh, this is for Toyota Hilux and for Tuner. It's, it costs 17,310. Naka 18s na yan, mga paps. Siyempre, dahil kasa to, legit yan. <laughs> alloy wheel, 18s, 17,310. And some accessories. And the shirt. TRD t-shirt. Cost 2,600 and 2,800. There we go. Here we go. We're here right now in Toyota, Santa Rosa, Nueva Ecija.